and actually our floor director Ryan Black is on the phone with us as we speak. Uh, Ryan, what can you tell us about the, the response and the attempts to get this blaze under control? Uh, hey guys, um, I live about a half block down. The, um, the explosion took place around 3.15. Um, I ran outside to see what it was. It looked like there was just an explosion uh, without any fire or flames or anything out of the, uh, I guess the Japanese restaurant on the uh, street level of uh, right on the northwest corner, 7th and 2nd. Uh, it took about five or 10 minutes for the flames to really take uh, control, but once they did, they pretty much, I mean, within three or four minutes, they spread to the top floor of the building. It looks like it's a five or six story building. And uh, within five minutes of that, it was completely into the next building. And the flames, I mean, I'm barely being able to see right now, but the flames, I'd say, are like 20 to 30 feet uh, above. I don't know if you guys are seeing a lot of pictures or not. Yeah. Uh, we, above, I, the, uh, above the building. Ryan, just for, for a little clarification, I think our viewers were just taking a look at some footage that you had shot, which was of the building smoking, but before the flames that we are seeing live now are coming through. Oh, sorry about that. Say it again. Sorry about that. We were looking at some footage earlier of uh, what appeared to be a smoking building, but that is, I guess, before the blaze went out of control? Right, right. That was the first video that I got, and I've sent in a few others. I don't know if you guys have them or yet not. But, right. uh, no, the thing, I mean, it's only been about 15 or 20 minutes, and I, I can't see around the corner because I'm actually pushed all the way back to my apartment, which is halfway between first and second. Uh, but I would I'd say that at least three buildings, if not more, uh, have caught on because the second building, once the first building caught completely, the second building caught in under five minutes. Uh, and these, like I said, these flames are like 20 to 30 feet above the rooftop. Have you been so able to talk to a uh, public affairs officer or anyone who can give you a sense of uh, numbers? No, I, I, I don't even, I mean, they're just trying to get control. They keep yeah. pushing us back more and more. I showed my, uh, my press pass and I just, you know, they keep pushing us back. And this is a really uh, populated neighborhood, right, Ryan? There are a lot of restaurants downstairs, a lot, a very heavily trafficked neighborhood. Yes, yes. Even at this time of day, it's definitely uh, one of the more populated places because a lot of the bars and restaurants uh, are located in this area. So uh, I can't say, I mean, from what I saw just in the explosion, before any of the smoke or the flames came out, um, I mean, half of the, uh, half the front of the building was just completely blown out into the street. So... I mean, I hope the restaurant was, was shut down or closed only for uh, only for nighttime service because I don't I don't imagine uh, you know I don't imagine there'll be more than uh, anything less than life threatening injuries. So. Now we're we're being told that there's a uh, hundred and thirty firefighters on the scene. What does that translate to in in terms of what are you seeing? How many trucks? What's the activity uh, I'm like? Seeing, yeah, I'm seeing uh, there's at least seven or eight ambulances. The fire trucks I'd say there are at least seven or eight. Um, all of them have the hooks and ladders up. I saw a few firefighters go up to the top of the ladders and try to put the, uh, the hose down onto the roof, but then the flames got so large that they just had to come off and, and, and take a, uh, a wider approach to putting out the fire. Uh, reading some of the tweets uh, now, Ryan and Gideon, um, crazy explosion on 7th and 2nd. Just heard an explosion. My entire building shook. Um, they're saying that this is a three-alarm fire on 125 Second Avenue, which is a mixed occupancy uh, major building collapse. This is according to the New York Fire Department tweets. Um, and uh, they're saying that this is between Second Avenue and Cooper Square. That's the area that we're talking about right now about this building explosion. And right. um, Ryan, you're at the scene. Thanks for telling us what's going on. What is the reaction to uh, what is happening? Uh, are there crowds gathering on the ground? Is there chaos? Is it under control? Yeah, I mean, I looked out my window immediately, and there were people already out into the street, so I threw on my jacket and my shoes and uh, and went outside, and by the time I got to the corner, just, I'm, I'm in between 1st and 2nd Avenue, um, there were at least 100 people there. Fire trucks came about two or three minutes later, and then by the time the first fire truck came, there were, you know, several hundred people. And now I'd say, I mean, from all corners, I'd say, you know, you might be up to 1,000, maybe a little bit less, but uh, everyone's being pushed back to a safe distance because this thing is, I didn't even think it would go up because there was no smoke or no fire initially, but now I, I saw at least two buildings that were, I mean, completely engulfed in flames. That was at least 10 minutes ago before I called you guys. So um, unless they got under control, I'd say there's much more. I don't know if you guys have a live shot or not. Um, uh, I think we're looking at your footage right now, but we, we were watching a live shot uh, before and it does look like a, uh, we're trying to get it back up. It does look like it's a very, very difficult blaze to get a handle of. Obviously, in situations like this, where you start hearing terms like building collapse and uh, uh, multiple buildings, uh, you, I think the big concern is in terms of injuries and people making it out safely. 
Uh, with uh, the, the hospital up on 14th Street, just very, very close by, have you been seeing a lot of ambulance traffic at all? Uh, they're, they're coming down 2nd Avenue, which is the way traffic normally goes, but I couldn't even, I couldn't even get to that part of 2nd Avenue. I got to the corner of 2nd Avenue, as you can see from you know, the first videos that you saw um, across the way, but now we're pushed back. I'm basically back to my apartment, which is halfway between 1st and 2nd. I'm so reading that. Like about 300 feet. 2nd Avenue is actually closed to traffic from 9th Street all the way um, to Houston Street, and that there is crowd control underway and no pedestrians are allowed uh, in that immediate area. Uh, we are seeing pedestrians outside uh, the flames that are engulfing this building. We do know that there's a major building collapse. Uh, we're looking at live pictures of this building in the East Village completely engulfed in flames. And um, on Twitter, there is talk, actually, uh, that there may be some firefighters missing. We do know um, that there were a number of injuries, and we're trying to confirm that information for you. Uh, we'll bring it to you live as soon as we have it. But right now, we're looking at the corner of 2nd Avenue and 7th Street in the East Village, where this building, yeah, yeah. mixed-use building, is uh, completely engulfed in flames.